Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We are doing a, a massive uh, level five hoard. Here in bottles. Uh. Everything is new, but it's damaged by the rats. There's a whole reptile room. Looks like they were mostly snakes. So sometimes during these cleanouts, we find things that are disturbing. Is it gun, is it gun safe in there? Oh. These boxes are all empty. It doesn't look like it's a real gun. Is that one loaded? Is that loaded? Oh. Here she comes! Oh my gosh. 2016. Oh my gosh. Four of them! Five of them! Oh. We are going to the Calusa Nature Center to donate all of our uh, reptile terrariums. There's the one of the rifles. Excellent, in this box. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Well, you know, that's probably the most time-consuming thing, right? It's trying to put everything back in its place. Yeah. Looks good to me, and I'm not a decorator. Well, now you can add it to your resume. Right? Curio cabinet layout artist. I'd hire you. Oh, my God. Look at all that. Let me pull <laughs> Just Let me give pull it a spray, right? <laughs> Let me pull this other one out. Oh, man. Look at that shit. Right, Literal. I mean, they were here by the... You want to scoop it into the can or the Jesus Christ. Looks like it's thumb, dude. Set it up on here. You gonna make it? Alrighty. Do All right. not remove until TV is assembled. Yeah. There's dude. one of the rifles. What's that? Oh, you found it? That's a double barrel. Been glued. Can't read that. That's just. Actually, it says box. Um. Mm -hmm. work. <laughs> you know they're probably gonna come jumping out at us. Hey! hey. All right. Just some uh, ceiling fan blades. Yeah. Yeah. Taking them on a trip. <laughs> right. Or it could be well, a paddle. paddle. Oh, perfect. Right. Play yeah. cricket. Hey. Right. Clock doesn't know how to work when there's not rats running over it every clock. Yeah. <laughs> Moving too freely now. Now look, here's something of value. <laughs> well, no, I, I think Kristen needs one of these for her next uh, discussion session. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Looks like, uh, what is this thing? Like a humid or a, a, dehu a dehydrator. Oh, a dehydrator for wow. food? Wow. Yeah. Is that for food? Yeah. Look at that. Just yeah. stick stuff in there and it's good to go. Yeah. yeah. There's even one right on the paintbrush right there. So I guess this is her arching craft room. This is what living with about 40 to 50 rats. We'll do to your stuff. Oh, we got rats. We got rats. Right, right here in the corner before I start flushing them. Are we throwing them in the oh, tank? Man. Well, I'm gonna start doing some snatch and grab and slinging here in a second. <laughs> oh yeah, they are. Got one here. Oh. There you go. <laughs> coming your way. Oh. And it looked like he was coming right at my face. Oh god, I didn't see him. I didn't know he was right there. Uh, I think there he goes. Oh, he's over here. There he is. There he is. <laughs> he's in this room, yeah. Right here. Come, up, come in here. You get it, bud? Uh, 
Oh, there! He can't fit in the hole. Let's go grab him. Oh my god. Oh, Bad. he's in there. He's in the bathroom. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, there he goes. Oh, We're gonna have to put that lid on because he's a jumper and he'll jump out. I'm gonna try and flip this. Yeah, but he's gonna go for it. That's when he jumps though, you know? He's behind the door. Oh. A storage locker that she she rented. So this kind of is uh, a little bit of new news. Um, but uh, so she rented a storage locker and says about you know well it's a big one so you know you can fill it up or whatever. So they want to keep everything obviously you know with that that type of thing. But the other challenge is that that was the the the, the bid to purchase the house included a storage locker the bid to do the hoard you know necessarily that okay. wasn't exactly how we put this together so so we, we've got to talk to her about you know what goes to storage look through some of these and and probably just start making some decision what what goes to storage and then try to get a hold of her yeah i believe you're right they are this they're okay. blank canvases for okay. her art so we'll keep that here yeah they probably are head out He's, he's gonna be in that corner a while. Three of them. Three of them? Oh. Oh, that's not gonna do it. Here you go. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! Put the camera down. Oh, oh, oh. oh. There goes the boot. Oh, hey. oh, no! Oh, shit. Oh. I got one here. <laughs> oh. Do I got him or no? Yeah, I think so. We're just kind of hanging out. <laughs> he's just kind of hanging out. A little bit behind some of the thought process behind someone who hoards is I, we understand the, the sentimental value. You know, maybe it was your your grandmother's. You know, you, you know, you didn't take the best care of it, but suddenly when it comes to departing with it, you you say, "Oh, I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to clean it up, and I'm going to put it back in my room." Which, uh, you know, we really discourage it, but I mean, I can uh, clean it up and disinfect it. Can't do anything to change the, the appearance of it too much, but, you know, I do want to appease her a little bit, you know. It's heartbreaking as this might look. It was important to her, so it's important to me. Do they still have their cat? They have one of their cats. And uh, she said the other one died, so we really weren't sure if she meant like it died in here somewhere oh, wow. or it died and, you know, now they're down to one. So she's done with the animals, uh, no more reptiles, you know, just the cats enough. Dude. <laughs> I'm gonna get some of like fruit, I thought it was. Carissa? Yeah. Thank you. Can you come here for a minute? Looks like some sort of bird is running around. Uh, <laughs> 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 Running all over the place! Oh man! Damn, man! Uh, got him! <laughs> got him. <laughs> uh, still can't tell Ken. Yeah, on candid camera. <laughs> That's great. Woo! <laughs> you thought it was one, didn't you? In this place, absolutely. Absolutely, I thought it was real. Here we are, the end of uh, day four. Um, we've got one more day left and got some things over to storage, which was a good thing. It's a good goal today. One of the things we uh, wanted to accomplish, we've got all the carpet uh, removed from inside the house. Tomorrow, I think uh, the plan is uh, we still have a, a garage full of a lot of stuff. So a lot of that's going to be going over to the storage. Well, we're still seeing a lot of little critters jumping out. We've cornered them all into the final room back there. You know, there's still a lot of little nests uh, going in. So uh, we're getting really good at catching them. <laughs> that's for sure. Catching them and then taking them. And we've got terrariums in the back where we're kind of just storing them for right now. The final day, so it'll be a big push. We'll probably be a little more energized because it is the last day. And we know we got a lot of things we got to get done and things that we want to get done. We're looking forward to it. 
All right, so here we are, uh, day five. We're about halfway through. This is the uh, final day. Trying to get a hold of the homeowner this morning to come out and give us the last final directions on some of the stuff we took out of the garage. And uh, it's been pretty uneventful. We've got a, a second landscaper here taking care of some trees in the, uh, the backyard uh, for us. So getting that taken care of for her too. Um, well. Nice thing is we still have people reaching out to us wanting to come over and help but uh, I think we got we got enough people here so that all kind of worked out nice for us today. We were just coming up with a game plan uh, for this room in here. Um, our client just left and uh, gave us a, a few instructions. She's uh, um, ordered a, a new mattress and stuff and so she wants to kind of change her, her room around which is good. Um, you know, this is all going to come, you know, along with the, the deep clean that uh, she's uh, agreed to, which is the best thing for her health. I haven't been able to sleep, mm -hmm. you know, just wanting to do this right, to be able to, to do it for somebody and to do it to the level that we'll do it. It's but I think we'll do that. We'll set up some stuff outside for the deep clean team Yeah. to take anything, you know, kitchen, pots, pans, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. and, and kind of dunk and scrub and you know yeah. roller pads. I think we're gonna have five, five maybe six people, uh, probably six, on the on the deep clean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two days, two full days, walls, two everything. Days. Yeah, five six people. We can do it. We're gonna deliver uh, probably two loads of those today. The career the nature. Center to donate all of our uh, reptile uh, terrariums and I, I think we found uh, in the back shed that we really wasn't a part of the hoard clean out I think there was like six or eight terrariums back there that were on, on top of the, the reptile room so, uh, so yeah we got a van full surprise how many fit in here planetarium nature center Calusa Nature Center and Planetarium and just wanted to thank the Spalding Decon for uh, donating 18, I think it's 18, right? 19. 19, 19 terrariums, that's awesome. Um, here to Calusa Nature Center and Planetarium um, to help us get some of our animals in new enclosures and come see us. Flower is an albino skunk and Pepe is a striped skunk. Cool, huh? Aww, very cool. They're full grown, they're five years old. Aww. They're a bonded pair, so they mate. Oh, we did. It was an uh, incredible amount, and they're very, uh, very thankful. And apparently, they also uh, uh, help out. They're, they're, they partner with some other people to where you know different situations pop up, so they'll donate the terrarium to you know that other organization or to an individual. Well, we saw you know what was the name Billy? The Billy, turtle? Billy the tortoise, thirty in his thirties. Thirty some year old Billy acting like a acting like a little teenager. Well, he was pretty cool. We found some uh, taxidermy rats at the horde. I guess you could say we should donate those. If I were a snake, I wouldn't want to eat those rats. You wouldn't. I'm a picky snake. I I need gourmet rats. Well, Far, you know, farm raised. <laughs> yeah. those rats actually ate pretty good. I mean, they ate yeah. uh, pasta. They, they ate great, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to put together her exercise equipment in here in her lanai, where we just removed about, I don't know, 10, 12 aquariums, or terrariums for snakes from the lanai here. So now we're gonna build her exercise equipment, which for someone that's in, in recovery, uh, for cancer, I mean this is huge, so she's very excited. It's actually it's kind of a surprise for her. Got her little arts and crafts room kind of put back together, so hopefully we'll get to kind of cleaning this up maybe when we get back to lunch and maybe create a spot where she can sit down and create. Looks like she's pretty uh, crafty and pretty creative. Um, she did some paintings over here. She started to do some landscaping. That looks kind of cool. So hopefully, you know, maybe now this will give her the opportunity to come in here and sit and you know, something that's probably very good for her, a little meditative. Wrapping up, the end of day, day five. 
Um, we'll be coming back for uh, about 16 more hours. Lots to do. Um, we're also going to be doing a, the deep clean on this house, coming back uh, to do that and uh, just to do some of the finishing touches. Never, never thought we'd uh, get to <laughs> the moment that we have actually yep. going to consider phase one complete, which was a five day dehorde project. Uh, we did a lot of extra things in there like we always tend always to do, tend to get do. a little carried away. I mean, it feels really good uh, for us to, um, you know, be here at this point. And, and I think, you know, considering everything about this home, we, we couldn't be more pleased. Uh, the homeowners were here just a few hours ago walking through. I mean, you can see the light in their in their face and oh, their definitely. eyes. You know, today I had to have the uncomfortable conversation with the homeowner um, about, you know, our proposal was uh, to basically dehoard the house, just clean it out, get rid of things. Um, and it wasn't about cleaning, doing the deep clean where we, uh, you know, clean, disinfect, sanitize. Uh, you know, we had a lot more rodent droppings than we had anticipated. And, you know, they're notorious for carrying germs and diseases. And, you know, I just couldn't sleep at night, so. <laughs> well, you made it through that conversation. And, and it, you know, and, and you, you, you touch something in her to realize that uh, it's really not okay to live like. Well, yeah. I, I, I guess we don't really say that, but I mean it's 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 not as healthy. Yeah. And, you know, we're we're here for a little bit more than that. You know, we wanna, we wanna, she deserves better. They deserve better. They do. Yeah. They do. This is just one of would we come up with five phases? Four or five. Yeah. Four or five phases. So this is just the end of phase. Phase one was you know dehorting the place. Phase two is going to be cleaning uh, the um, the entire house. Then we've got um, doors and windows um, going in. And then furniture delivery. So we're getting new furniture. So that'll be exciting. Oh, we will definitely yep. see you next time. Fact Absolutely. See ya. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.